So our favorite robot, Artemis, the world's fastest robot, is in France competing in the RoboCup 2023, and it lost one important game against a robot called Sweaty from Germany. So the game, it was a competitive game, 3-2, uh, Sweaty won by three, and uh, Artemis only managed to score two goals, which meant that it is out. And of course, that was the first goal to be ever scored by Ar Artemis in the game. Artemis is fast, but turns out speed is not as important as reliability in this game. And Sweaty was more reliable and more precise when it comes to scoring. So it won the game. And for fans of the world's fastest robot Artemis, the Messi robot, they have to wait till of course to next year 2024 for RoboCup 2024 to see some of the advancements that will, will have been done or applied to the robot to make it better in these types of competition. Of course these types of competition are not really for awards but more to showcase some of the great uh, breakthroughs in robotics and how different uh, let's say different researchers have applied different tactics and uh, tricks and knowledge to make their robots to be more amazing and make them more agile to make them more like to move better be able to run be able to score be able to kick to do different tasks so still robocup 2023 is going down it will be completed tomorrow on the 10th of july and so far like i said it is a number of events that happen not only football but i made a video on the same about all the types of games that will be taking place and they'll be completing with them more to do with symposiums and things to do with education in robotics yeah so till next time as we wait for next year for better performance from our messy robot i hope you stay safe you stay cool and let's play a short clip for you here so that you can be able to see how the game went down and you'll be able to appreciate the robotics game that was happening in France. That is RoboCup 2023. Stay safe, man. Stay safe. Stay safe. when you go forward to some other competition that will be taking place during the event we'll have robocup rescue and this in this competition the robots will in uh, robots will be involved in performing rescue tasks uh, in a simulated disaster scenario so, uh, such as like searching for victims navigating through rubble and delivering supplies and then we are going to have robocup home and in this event, the RoboCup will be performing domestic tasks and realistic home environments like cleaning, cooking, serving, and you know, interacting with humans. In another competition that will be taking place will be RoboCup Industrial. You know where this is where Atlas from Boston the Dynamics mine he might win. And RoboCup Industrial. In this type of competition, Roboca robots will be performing industrial tasks in a simulated factory setting, such as picking and placing objects, assembling parts, and collaborating with humans. Then, we are going to have another competition that is called RoboCup Junior. And this competition involves young students designing, building, and programming their own robots to compete in soccer, rescue mission or on stage challenges and then we're going to have again the final competition will be RoboCup education and this is going to be a joint event that involves workshops 
lectures, demonstrations, and exhibitions related to robotics and artificial intelligent education for students, teachers, and the general public. So of course, like I said, this is happening from today, the 4th. And so far, when it comes to the football competition or the RoboCup Humanoid Soccer, but as we call it football, and because of colonization, we have to call it football, some of the teams that will be taking place in like the small sized league, it has been confirmed that 24 teams qualified for these events from the likes of Germany, China, Japan, Brazil, USA, Canada, yeah, 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 so many teams. And this will be 24 teams that will be taking place in small size. Then it, when it comes to simulation, soccer simulation in 3D, again, the number of teams that qualified for this are 24. And of course, like um, we said, you have so many countries uh taking place in this and when it comes to the standard platform league uh 16 teams qualified for this these are the um, human sized robots 16 teams qualified for this the likes of germany france netherlands netherlands and so many more and this is going to take place again starting today so the events are going down in france RoboCup 2023 is here. So far, I don't know where you can be able to watch the game. Will you be able to watch it on Super Sport? I'm not sure. Will you be able to watch it on... Like, the event has not yet garnered a lot of... Um, like, a lot of vibe or support like other games. But I think with, with time, they are getting there. And this year, especially thanks to ChatGPT, it has created a lot of interest and you know a lot of things when it comes to things to do with ai and robotics so i guess it will be streamed on youtube and many more other platforms but in case we see anything related to the game we will be able to update you right away and when it comes to pricing i mean what do you get when you win the game what do you get when you win the game 